Hello, guys! Привет! Welcome back to my channel! Today we are going to learn Russian personal pronouns in nominative case. I hope you watched my videos about Russian alphabet and you can read now. So, in this video, let's try to read without transcription. The only prompt will be a stress symbol about the stressed vowel. Before listing pronouns, we should understand what pronouns are. They replace nouns in a sentence and they are used to avoid repetition of the noun. There are three cases when you can use personal pronouns. When you are talking about yourself, you are the first person. When you are talking to someone, a person you are talking to is the second person. And when you are talking to someone about someone else, that person is a third person. There is a singular and a plural form of each pronouns. Let's start with the personal pronouns of first person. As mentioned, there is a singular единственное число and a plural form множественное число. Я единственное число. Мы множественное число. Now, let's see the usage of these pronouns in the sentence. Я учусь в России. Мы учимся в России. Let's move on with the personal pronouns of second person. The situation we can talk to the second person can be either formal or informal. First, let's see pronouns which are used in informal situations. If you are talking to one person, you would use ты. If you are talking more than one person, you would use вы. Now, let's see how you can use each of these pronouns. Аня, где ты учишься? And, if you are asking two persons. Аня и Юля, где вы учитесь? Let's move on to pronouns of second person in a formal situation. Here, we have единственное and множественное число as for all pronouns. In единственное число, if you are talking to one person, we use вы. And in множественное число, when you are talking to more than one person, the pronoun is the same, вы. Here are examples as you can use these pronouns. Анна Ивановна, где вы работаете? Russian names consist of two parts. The first part is a first name. Here it's Anna. And middle name. In our example, it's Ивановна. Анна Ивановна и Юлия Олеговна, где вы работаете? If you want to emphasize your respect to the person you're addressing, you can write pronoun вы with the capital letter V. Let's move on to the personal pronouns of third person. Pronouns of third person are gender specific and have singular and plural forms as well. If you are talking about masculine, you would use on. If about feminine, она. If you are talking about neutral subjects, you would use on or она matching the gender of the noun. Множественное число – они. Let's see examples of usage of these pronouns. Это – Анна. Она учится в России. We use here pronoun она to avoid repetition of the name Анна. Let's see examples with neutral subjects. Это – книга. Книга is feminine. That's why we would use pronoun она. Она – Интересная. Это карандаш. Карандаш is masculine. That's why we would use он. Он красный. I will teach you on my next videos how to define gender of neutral subjects. And here is the last example of using они. Анна и Юлия учатся в России. We can replace their names with the pronoun and the sentence will be Они учатся в России. Now, let's review all pronouns we have learned in this lesson. 
Personal pronouns are either first person, second person or third person. They have singular единственное число or plural form множественное число. A singular form of first person я. A plural form мы. There is informal and formal situations when we are talking to someone. In informal situation, a singular form – ты, a plural form – вы. Informal situation, a singular form – вы, and the plural form is the same – вы. Third person is gender-specific. We use on when we are talking about masculine and она – when we are talking about feminine. A plural form is они. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Russian lessons online. Пока!